Over the last five days, this AI startup became the center of a $3 billion corporate frenzy, showing that perhaps the most valuable asset in the AI race isn't technology, but human talent. Windsurf, the AI coding platform used by over a million developers, was OpenAI's prized acquisition target. But when OpenAI tried to close the deal last week, Windsurf reportedly raised concerns about how they would fit into OpenAI's agreement with Microsoft, whose co-pilot tools are direct competitors to Windsurf, and the deal ultimately fell through. Within hours of the acquisition collapsing on Friday, Google swooped in with a $2.4 billion reverse aqua hire, poaching Windsurf's founders and top engineers. Just 72 hours later, Cognition Labs signed an agreement to buy Windsurf's remaining business for an undisclosed amount. Although the Windsurf deal ended in what appears to be a true acquisition, these reverse aqua hires have become a popular move in the new Silicon Valley playbook. This strategy allows big tech to bypass antitrust scrutiny. Instead of buying companies outright, they hire top talent, invest enough for a minority stake in the company, and license their technology. For now, these pseudo-acquisitions remain big tech's fastest path to securing scarce AI developer talent.